Um, I wanted to highlight a tool that allows you, to allows you to create content inside VR. So instead of using tools out, instead of using cameras or uh, tools like Maya or Blender, um, you, there's a few tools and more and more, and I think this is kind of the future of tools that are getting created where you are in VR creating content that you can then consume in VR or uh, in other mixed reality media. And uh, one, of the, uh, one of the most furthest developed one of these is Tilt Brush by Google. So let's, let's get in there and, and have a look at what this is. So Tilt Brush is interesting on two levels. One is um, it's interesting you can create with it and you can just kind of get lost, but it's also interested in how they, uh, have, how they help you understand what to do. And so in this case, um, I'm looking at my hand, my left hand, my right hand, and it says hold trigger to paint. So it's already kind of, instead of just dropping me in and said I figure it out, it's given me a hint. And uh, so when I look at my controllers, um, this controller that you're seeing in physical space, the one in virtual space is exactly the same. It tracks well, and I feel like it's that one. And when I look at it, and there's this glowing button, I'm like, okay, that's a trigger, let's press that. And so as I press that, I can draw. It's a happy, it's a happy guy. Now what's interesting here is um, I just drew something in 3D. So uh, it's not a, not a 2D person, but a 3D person. And it's given me a hint to do something else. So move thumbstick. And what this does um, is it gives me a palette. And so just like in painting, you might have a palette of paint uh, in one hand and a brush in the other. They're trying to use the same uh, concept here. So I can move left and right and point to interact. So if I point at it, I can choose different brushes. Uh, right now, I just used light. You can see I painted with light. Um, let's do some embers. Find out what embers do. So maybe with some magic. So our happy guy is in a magic space. Why is he happy? Because there's a rainbow. Oh, that's a small rainbow. How about a big rainbow? Much better. How about even more rainbow? Now we're getting somewhere. So as I'm creating, I'm creating in, the, in 3D space. And it's actually really natural for me to play. It's as if, from my perspective, um, it feels very similar to when I was a kid and you would just draw. You just draw for the, fu for the, for the fun of it. And there's all these different brushes. I can change the color. So now I'm in rainbow. Um, let's uh, do this duct tape effect. I change the color. How about red? What should we make with duct tape? So this is going to be a very wide duct tape, and I can make it less wide by moving my thumb. I'm going to make a window just because I can. So there's a window, and I can walk through that window and look at the other side. So in the resources that go uh, with this course, um, I've linked to a Facebook group called Virtual Painting. And that Facebook group um, shows some pretty incredible experiences that people have created uh, with uh, tools like Tilt Brush. Let me, uh, let, me, let me show you some of these. Um, Tilt Brush comes preloaded with some experiences that people have created with it. For example, a JTang built or recreated uh, Starry Night. And what, am I, what I'm seeing here is Jay using his, uh, basically creating the experience. Um, and I, I think I can fast forward it. Pull trigger to quick load. And he recreated, so now I'm looking at a recreation of Monet. And I can walk around in it. So it, it kind of uh, changes the way that you can think of paintings and of using <coughs> the um, techniques and the different experiences uh, within a VR environment. So you can 
use this as a, as a source, and we'll, we'll get through that in other exercises, um, using this as a source um, for virtual and mixed reality environments.